Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic book review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It's Friday. Yep, it's Friday. And on Friday, I typically try to review a magic book because I love magic books and I think magic books are where the secrets are. In fact, speaking of secrets, I just did a uh, review for a download, Well Traveled, by Cameron Francis, and I thought, you know what? I should just show you the book that that trick appears in, right? So let, let's say you watch that, you're like, that's, you know, that sounds like a pretty good download. You can actually get that trick in this book plus 21 other tricks, right? So 22 effects, $25. This is the 80s called They Want Their Magic Book Back, Volume 1 by Jonathan Friedman. All right, the 80s called, Volume 1, Jonathan Friedman. Uh, you might remember I did a book review for him a couple years back um, and uh, had a lot of fun with that book. That book, very similar to this book. Jonathan's style is very fun, it's very witty, it's very creative, and I think the... Uh, the, the, the way he went with this book totally fits him, okay? Because, well, let's just talk about the title, right? The title is The 80s Called They Want Their Magic Book Back. And he even says in the preface at the very beginning, like, I'm writing this book in the style of, like, Paul Harris and the old Art of Astonishment books. Like, uh, if you have those books on your shelf, you know that every title page has a different font and there's some kind of kooky picture and uh, he goes through all the pattern and all the tricks and, and the books are uh, like this ragtag Motley Crue assembly of just like all kinds of variousness, right? And that's kind of what you have here. This really does feel like one of those old school uh, magic books. And the, the cover is done like, you know, with the flash dance font. So it, it does kind of have that feel. There's like little icons of, of, of Boy George <laughs> in places. Uh, it is, it, it's a lot of fun. And so... I want to talk about what the book has inside of it, obviously, and uh, go over some of the tricks. But, you know, there's 22 tricks, so we're not going to go into the ins and outs of every single one of those tricks. And me just rambling on how the trick goes, that'd be boring. So I, I want to encourage you to pick this book up. All right, so right away, like I said, 22 effects, 245 pages. 245 pages, which means there's a lot of pages for every single trick. He spends a lot of time on every trick. He's going to go over everything, okay, which means patter. Like, he gives you patter. The patter is in, like, a little uh, bubble that's a different color. So he's going to give you full patter, full crediting, okay? So if he borrowed anything or picked up anything or was inspired by anything, full crediting. Uh, black and white photographs for everything. And should you need to build a gimmick for a certain thing, he's going to teach you how to build that gimmick. Uh, great, great, uh, great detail. Okay, there's a lot of detail that goes into every single one of these submissions. Now, going into the table of contents, going into uh, what the tricks include, um, I'm gonna start by saying, yes, a lot of these are card tricks. They are, a lot of these are card tricks, but there's a nice variety of other things, okay? So, first trick is feats of strength. This is a key bending routine where the key is bent and then snapped in half, and then as you toss it into the air, it's restored. The next trick is called 20. This is a poker demonstration. After that is pencil paper. Uh, the word paper is written on the pencil and the word pencil is written on the paper and then the two words magically change places. Coins a la carte is a one coin routine that uses two coins and it's got productions and vanishes, uh, it reappearances and then a total vanish that is really beautiful looking. Auto repeat, disengage is where a selected card and the deck change places in the spectator's hands. Well-traveled is, of course, the cards to pocket routine that I just reviewed from Cameron Francis. We talked about that. The kernel is where you take a popcorn kernel, an uncooked one, right? Put it in your hand. It pops into an edible popcorn, and then you even get sound effects with this. One little letter is a written word transpo. George and Abe 
is done with a quarter and a penny. This is also a transpo effect, and it ends with the two coins melted together. White light, white heat, white card. This is a spectator's card that's merely thought of, ends up being the only one in an all blank deck. Selectagami is a fun card folding, kind of origami routine, done in the style of Mad Magazine. Outside the inside, this one's kind of hard to describe, but the word, right, right, the written word outside, is written on the outside of the cellophane that's wrapped around your deck of cards. And it magically changes to the word inside, and it's now written on the inside of the cellophane. This one is crazy. And when we talk about Paul Harris tricks and Art of Astonishment, this one definitely belongs in that volume. Spoon melt is a plastic spoon bending routine that you do with a lighter, but the spoon restores itself and you can give it to the spectator as a souvenir. This is real is a submission by Francis Minotti and it's really, uh, really involved. You have an invisible pen, you have an invisible piece of paper and the spectator writes something down with the invisible pen and then the pen appears and the writing appears. This trick is truly magical. Greasy pretzel fingers. This is done with a handful of pretzel crumbs and you shape them into the selected card. Hot air is a floating card box trick. The sloppy spectator is a triumph handling. Guitar pick a card is done with a guitar pick. Um, interestingly enough, he does a trick with a guitar pick in his other book. Um, and this is where you kind of do it as a card stab. You throw the guitar pick and it stabs the selected card. Magic Eraser is a coin that's like soaked into a uh, eraser sponge and the sponge has to be cut open to get the coin out. Jacked Up is a magical poker demonstration uh, where you kind of make a royal flush, but you do it with a queen of spades and four jacks of hearts. And lastly is Key Cutter. This is where you bring out an uncut key and you magically make all the teeth appear. And I probably didn't mention every single uh, guest contributor, but you got John Gustafaro, Cameron Francis, Francis Minotti, Steve Mayhew, Joe Cole, and Sean Dunn. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Hey, like I said, fun book, lots of great submissions, not just card tricks, you know, because sometimes, you know, it's just card tricks, but there's lots of creativity here. Um, full pattern, full photographs. This is how magic books should be written. I mean, yes, it, it was, uh, you know, it took me back to days of yore <laughs> when I was in the 80s and reading these books, but it really made me miss books like this. So it was a, a super fun read. Um, negatives, really the only negative for me is there's no volume two. Why is there no volume two? Talking, I'm looking at you, man, Jonathan Friedman. Volume two, let's bust it out. All right, that's everything I can say about the 80s called, they want their magic book back. Volume 1, Jonathan Friedman. Of course, I purchased mine from penguinmagic.com. And if you'd like to purchase one for yourself, I would suggest you go there too. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. But wait, are you not getting enough magic orthodoxy in your life? Not getting enough of your very favorite magic reviews? Good news. You can join this channel. That's right. You can join Magic Orthodoxy for only $1.99 a month. $1.99 gives you access to eight brand new videos every single month. Eight. Eight new videos that are unseen by the rest of the world. You will have exclusive access to them. Plus, if you join right now for a buck ninety-nine, you'll get access to over a hundred videos that are already in the membership section. That's right. A hundred videos. What kind of content? Even more magic videos. Top 10 lists best of the year, head-to-head -head magic tricks, and my exclusive thoughts on performance and theory. Two extra videos every single week, $1.99. Just scroll down to where it says Magic Orthodoxy. There's a button next to it that says Join. Click the Join button, and it'll walk you through a series of menus that'll hook you up and get you access today.